please do propose it. <sighs> Patient. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty. Signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. Floric. Will? Guards, please, no. The Blade of Frontiers was supposed to be my secret weapon. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers? Merciful Timora. That's the first piece of good news I've heard since Elturel. But I'm not pinning all my hopes on you. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. The Council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Holy shit. That's my old boss. The guy who sold me to Zariel. Gortash, as in Enver Gortash. Last I knew, he was a minor player in city affairs. A lot's changed since you left Baldur's Gate, Will. Gortash has gained considerable influence since then. Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and I left for Elturel, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Ketherick throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. Sir Gortash is a lord now. I'd like to clap eyes on this steel watch of his. You already know the story. I was Gortash's bodyguard, loyal as they come, when he made the deal with Zariel. She got a test subject for her infernal engine. I never found out what he got. This is the kind of man who gets a title. Authority makes me sick. The city, Baldur's Gate, home. I can almost taste it, you know. Not even Gortash can spoil that. Well met. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at moonrise. I was 11 when the Counselor spotted and slayed an assassin who stalked farther from the shadows. I was 13 when she brought word of a goblin warband advancing on Rivington. Her keen scouting saved a hundred lives that day. The Counselor's loyalty to my father is beyond question. She's as steady as Tyr's heartbeat, as upstanding as the Sword Mountains. Father's at Moonrise Towers, and we need to save him. They want violence, they want control, they want Baldur's Gate. Who better than Grand Duke Ravengard to surrender it? Who better than the commander of the Flaming Fist to dismantle its defenses? They will infect him, and the city's guardian will become its ruin, unless we put a stop to it. We can't and we won't. The shadows be damned.
The journey back to Baldur's Gate won't be easier, but your task here is harder still. Timora be with you. The crime. The cultists are among us and you want to chat. Let the professionals handle this. Marcus was scum. But the rest of us are loyal to Dew Gravengard. Loyal to Baldur's Gate, I swear it. <laughs> 